Okay, the next step is going to be uh, connecting to the server and uh, creating a character. With Tintin++, um, all of the special commands for the program itself uh, begin with a hashtag. Uh, the first command I'm going to want you to do is uh, hashtag help and then press enter. Uh, this shows you all of the commands that are built into the Tintin program. Um, it's a very complicated program if you want it to be, uh, but for the purposes of just trying out the game and seeing if you like it and you know exploring a little bit, um, we can keep it simple. Um, if you wanted to get help on something specific, you would type help uh, and then the name of the command. Uh, for example, let's try loop. And then here it's going to show you uh, some instructions and some examples uh, of what you can do. So don't worry too much about this, but if, if, if you're interested in learning more about programming and um, you know working with data and variables, it's, it's, a, it's another way to learn those and practice those skills. <clears throat> All right, to connect to the, to the server, we're going to do hashtag and then the word session. Uh, we're going to name the session. Uh, this is the, the name of the uh, the name of the server that you're connecting to. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is type the uh, address of the server, uh, and it's called scallops s c a l l o p s dot kelly k e l l e y dash digital. D-I-G-I-T-A-L dot net. Uh, you're going to put a space, and then you're going to put what's known as the port number. In this case, it's 4,000. Uh, the port number you can think of like uh, the uh, a room in a hotel. All right, Each service on your server, whether it's a website server, a chat server, a game server, um, it has an IP address. Uh, in this case, the scallops... Uh, dot digital or excuse me dot kelly digital dot net uh, address um, and then that server needs to have different rooms or different ports uh, for each thing that it's going to do so ideally um, once you have that information there push enter uh, and then you should see a thing that says tba mud 2020 uh, by what name do you wish to be known go ahead and type a character name Um, please make sure that it is school appropriate. Uh, you cannot put spaces or numbers in your character name. Go ahead and push. Uh, if you if you if you see as you saw there, um, if you take too long, it's going to disconnect you. Um, it's to prevent people from trying to hack the server or crash the server by lagging it out on the sign up. Um, the nice thing about Tintin, uh, if you look, uh, if you push that up arrow on your keyboard, uh, it'll cycle through commands you've previously typed. I'm going to type my character name. Uh, please make sure it's school appropriate. Uh, it's going to ask, did I get that right? Push Y or N. Uh, if you push N, uh, you'll be allowed to retype it. It is not going to show you the password that you are typing. Uh, so please make sure that you choose a secure password. Push the Enter key. Type it again to confirm. All right, um, this game is going to ask what your gender is. Uh, this is the gender of your character. Um, uh, right now, the game, the way the game code has been written, there's two to choose from. Choose just one of those two. All right, uh, next you're going to choose your class. Um, cleric, thief, warrior, and magic user. Uh, a cleric uh, has like healing spells and protection spells. Uh, thieves are good at sneaking and stealing items. Warriors are good fighters. Uh, and then magic users are like wizards. So I'm going to choose a warrior to start with. Uh, you'll see another little welcome screen here. Uh, and then it says press return. Uh, that's the enter key. Just push the enter key. Uh, and then here you'll be on the, the main menu. Um, the first thing we're going to do is uh, describe our character. So we're going to push 2, 
and then press enter. Uh, so if someone looks at your character, this is what they're going to see. Um, be creative. Please make sure it's school appropriate. Um, write one or two sentences describing what your character what you what your character would look like. finish with your description type a slash s to save and then press enter all right uh, back on the main menu we're gonna we're gonna push one to enter the realms uh, this will log you into the game so a couple things that I'd like to show you to start out with uh, first of all uh, the name of the room that you are currently in uh, is usually there in that light blue color. Uh, in this case, this is the Temple of Midgard. Um, there will always be a description uh, of the room that you are in. Um, the first few times that you uh, visit a location, I encourage you to pay close attention to the descriptions. Uh, and then after you've been there a few times, um, you can uh, you know, kind of skip over uh, some of those descriptions. Uh, there's actually an option to turn off the descriptions uh, later. Um, but they'll often talk about, uh, you know, clues, um, you know, that describe the world that you can look at. You look at a painting or a statue, okay? Uh, next, it's going to show you the directions that you can leave uh, or exit. Uh, in this case, you can leave north, east, south, west, or you can go down. Um, any special objects uh, or monsters or other characters uh, will show up here in green. Um, here it says uh, automatic teller machine. Okay, uh, so what I could do if I wanted to look at that machine, I could type look machine and then press enter. So there's the description of the machine. All right, um, a lot of objects and characters and monsters have multiple words that you can describe them. So we can try look ATM. The same thing, and look teller should all work. Uh, so when you're when you're trying to look at objects or pick up objects, sometimes you have to try different names to describe it correctly. All right, last thing here on the on the main uh, screen, this is going to be your um, hit points. All right, the H. All right, next is going to be your mana points. That's what you can use to cast spells. Uh, and then here is going to be uh, your movement points. Um, that's how you know many spaces that you can move around before your character has to rest. So a couple commands to get you started quickly. Uh, first is going to be score. This gives you quite a bit of information about your character. Uh, we've already gone over uh, hit points, mana, and movement. Uh, you're going to see your armor class. Uh, generally, the lower the number here, the better. Um, your alignment uh, doesn't really get used too much in this game, um, but it determines whether your character leans more good or evil or neutral. Uh, you have information here about your uh, experience points, uh, gold coins, and your quest points. It gives you how many points you need to reach the next level. Uh, it shows you the number of quest points that you have and quests that you're on. Uh, it shows your play time. It shows your current rank and level. Uh, and then it shows your current status. Uh, in this case, I am standing. Uh, the other uh, commands to help you get started uh, are inventory. Uh, this shows you the items that you are carrying with you. And then you have equipment. All right, that will show you the items that you're currently using, uh, whether it's a weapon that you're wielding or armor that you're wearing. Uh, the MUD does have in built-in abbreviations 
Uh, so for example, for inventory, instead of typing out inventory, you can type IMV and press enter. Equipment can be um, abbreviated EQ. All right, score, I believe, can be abbreviated SC. Um, so those are some of the initial commands there to get you started. All right, we're going to stop here for a second, and I'm going to review some of those commands uh, on a slide, uh, and then we'll pick up. Thank you. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you are some toggles that you can use to uh, make some of the game, excuse me, some of the things in the game uh, happen automatically. Uh, normally, when you defeat an enemy, uh, you'd have to loot them. For example, you might type loot goblin, all right, or loot dragon. Um, that takes a couple seconds. Uh, uh, so what you can do is there's a command called auto loot. A U T O L O O T. Uh, so if you type it once, it enables the uh, option, and then if you type it again, uh, it turns it off. Um, so for those of you that are learning out, uh, excuse me, start, starting out and uh, playing for the first time, um, I turn auto loot on uh, just because it makes it uh, quicker. Uh, the next toggle that we're going to look at is called auto map. When auto map is turned on and you look at the room. Uh, you're going to see a small uh, text map over here on the right hand side of the description. Um, on my computer, uh, it shows it as a blue uh, background with an exclamation point. Uh, that's the current room that you are in. Uh, here it shows you, uh, in this case, C represents city. Uh, it shows you the type of terrain that that area is and different types of terrain will cost you different amounts of movement points. Uh, you can also see a larger map by typing map. So if you look over here on the left hand side, uh, it shows you the descriptions of all of the different um, zone type or area types. And then over here on the right hand side, uh, it shows you a larger uh, area of the map. Uh, until you know your way around pretty well, uh, I would check the map frequently and use the auto map function. Uh, and then the last toggle that we're going to turn on right now is called auto assist. And what auto assist does is it allows you to automatically help out a teammate uh, if you've formed a group with them in the game uh, it allows you to uh, automatically jump in and attack uh, whatever monster that they are currently attacking um, just be careful uh, if they attack something too powerful uh, it might get your character killed um, so just be mindful of using that okay um, so those are the three toggles uh, i'm going to stop here for a second so i can uh, show those back on the screen uh, just as a quick refresher but I encourage you to use all three of those um, until you get more experienced. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, quickly go over how to get help if you wanna look up some additional help. Um, first of all, if you type the help command and press enter, uh, you'll see a full uh, list of movement, communication, object or equipment, uh, info, utility, and combat commands. Uh, down here at the bottom, uh, you can push enter to continue, Q to quit, R to reload it or refresh it, uh, B to go back, and then it shows you the current page number that you're on. And then if you want help for something specific, type help and then the name of the command. Uh, in this case, we'll look at flee. You'll see the name of the command. Uh, the usage is what you will type into the computer, uh, into Tintin, and then push enter. Uh, and then it's going to give you a short little uh, description here about what it does. 
Um, so in this game, if you are in a fight and you think that you are going to lose, uh, type flee. And you will attempt to uh, run away. Uh, it doesn't always work. So just be careful. Um, so that is how to get help. All right, next thing we're going to do is uh, start moving around. Um, so I'm going to type look. Uh, so as you can see here from my exits, um, I can leave north, east, south, west, uh, and I can also leave down. Um, so to move in that direction, uh, you would just type the direction that you want to move uh, and then push enter. Uh, thankfully, we can shortcut it and just type the first letter. Um, so I am going to head south. That takes me to the temple square. Um, as you can see here, uh, there is a fountain there. All right. Uh, again, I can look at objects by typing look and then the name of the object. I see a short description of the fountain, um, but I can also drink from this fountain. Uh, so as you can see, it says I drink the clear water. Uh, I don't feel thirsty anymore. Um, if you go too long without drinking water, uh, you'll get a, a warning that says your character is thirsty. Uh, you need to find a source of water. Um, so this fountain is always there. And eventually you'll find some objects that you can fill up from the fountain so you can carry water with you. So uh, from the temple square uh, to the west... Uh, it's the Cleric's Guild. Uh, it says to the east uh, is the inn. And then to the south, we can go to the Market Square. So we're going to go south one more time to the Market Square. So we have a short description. All right, it tells us a little bit about the square. It shows us our exits. Uh, and then here we can see a, a green gelatinous blob. So we'll take a look at the blob. So there's always a short description uh, of whatever creature or monster it is. Uh, and then you'll see a, a status statement. Um, so if you're fighting a monster or someone else is fighting a monster, uh, it may say poor condition or almost dead and things like that. Uh, now please note, when you are playing, this monster might not be here. Uh, they, they do move around. Uh, this, see, as you can see there, uh, the blob just left to the left, or excuse me, to the west. Um, so if it's not there don't worry but other other things will you know move around th through the city uh, so those are the basics of, of moving around uh, like i said you just need to type the letter of the direction that you want to move um, one thing that you can do uh, if you type look and then the direction uh, you can usually get a one or two sentence description of what you see in that other direction uh, so it's a good way to kind of scout ahead uh, so those are the basics of moving around. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to find uh, your guild master so that you can practice your skills. Okay, before we go visit the guild master, uh, I want to show you uh, where to get some starting equipment. So as you can see, uh, we are in the market square. I'm going to travel north two times into the temple. I'm going to travel east once into the donation room. Um, if you come into the donation room with no equipment at all, uh, uh, an event will trigger uh, in the game where this character will give you uh, basically a full set of starting equipment. If you look in the room, uh, I also use my administrator account to um, create and drop a bunch of the newbie equipment that you can find. Uh, so that's also there. Uh, there is some bread and canteens. Uh, I would get a few pieces of bread and a canteen uh, so that you have food and water. So to pick objects up off the ground, uh, you're going to use the get command. Uh, so type get and then the name of the object. Uh, so for example, if I wanted to get the dagger, get dagger. 
because you get a shiny dagger. Uh, if there's more than one type of dagger, um, you might uh, have to say um, like a different name. Uh, so for example, like let's say there was an ice dagger, you could type get ice perhaps. All right? Or you can also uh, specify a number. So you could uh, type a number and then a period. Uh, so this is an example. Uh, you're looking for the third dagger, all right, or the fifth dagger. Uh, and then just go ahead and push enter. And as you can see, I can pick up another dagger. Uh, to drop an item, just type drop and the name of the item. Uh, some items are cursed and you can't drop them. Uh, you have to find a spell that lets you uh, remove the curse. Uh, you can also junk items. Uh, if you don't, if you don't think anyone else will need it and it's not worth selling, uh, you can junk it. Sometimes you'll get one uh, gold coin. Um, you can also donate it. Uh, if you donate an item, uh, it will appear in this room. So if you if you do play and you want to you know leave objects for other players to find, uh, drop it in the donation room. Uh, so to use uh, a piece of equipment, you would type wear, and then the name of the piece of armor or clothes that you want to wear. As you can see here, I already have one equipped, so I need to remove the first one uh, with the remove command. See what I'm worrying about my body. Ah, cape. Cape. Wear a cloak. Uh, remove all. We'll remove as many objects as you can. Uh, depending on um, the strength of your character, uh, you can only carry so many items. Wear all. We'll put on as many items as you can, uh, as long as nothing is in that spot already. Uh, and then for weapons, you want to wield them. If you already have a weapon, let's see what I have. So those are some of the basics uh, and then inventory. Uh, those are some of the basics of uh, getting some starting equipment uh, to help you out and uh, using and uh, equipping weapons and armor. Uh, there's a special type of equipment called a light, uh, different categories uh, of a light. Uh, in my inventory, I have a candle. Uh, some of the other lights are torches and lanterns. And there's a few other magic items that act as lights. Uh, but to use a light, you want to hold it. Uh, so it says you light a candle and hold it. Now if I check my equipment, I have a, an object that is used as a light. Uh, as long as you have a, a light, you can see um, in any room that is flagged as a dark room. Uh, if you do not have a light, it will say uh, that the room is pitch black. And you won't be able to see any description of the room at all. As long as you remember uh, the, the direction to move, you can move through there, no problem. Um, but if you don't have a light, you won't be able to see any monsters or anything like that. Alright, so next step I think is on to the Guildmaster.